Hey there, everybody. It's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today, I want to take you through a total body workout. You're going to need two sets of weights. I'm working with something heavier and something lighter. Maybe you want something in between to adjust up or down. You will need a mat for the floor work. And this is a nice, just small space workout you can do anytime, anywhere you want to get a good full body workout in today. So let's keep warming up here. Let's just walk tall and strong. Take a side to side step tap. Good. Just starting to get connected to our body, to this movement here, feeling great to be up and ready for some work today. And just remember as we go through the exercises, Today is all about honoring your body and doing what's working best for you. So please don't ever hesitate to adjust or adapt any moves that you need to, to make them feel best for your body's needs. Let's take a little hamstring curl here. Pull those elbows back. Just getting the blood flowing, pumping before we start really getting into the muscle work. And today we're gonna play with some tempo changes just to help us get even more out of the moves, playing with our time under tension. But always remember that what we do here is with a rep range, meaning that you might hit fatigue point before I'm done, which is great. Just take a little break, depending on what weight you're using. So we wanna adjust it up or down, take more breaks if you need it, test less, less breaks if you don't, or go heavier with your weights to add challenge. Let's walk it out, stand tall. Good. From here, we're just gonna take a little heel dig to work on really getting the ankles and the feet warmed up, which is so important for all the work we're gonna do, especially with our strength work. Everything starts from the ground up. So we wanna get some nice mobility in the ankles and in the feet. Take a deep breath. Exhale, press it out. Good. And just hold it here, pressing up over the toes, just a little calf raise. Take your arms up as you lift your heels, squeeze down your back. Feel your shoulder blades pulling down towards your hips. Getting nice and tall here. Four, three, two, one. Nicely done. Let's just take a little split stance, one foot forward, one foot back. Back heel's gonna be lifted. We're gonna take a hip hinge. So send your tailbone back and then come back up. So I'm moving my shoulders and my pelvis together as one unit. Push your tailbone back behind you. Good, let's do two more like that. Just hinging at the hips. Standing knee has a nice bend in it here. Take it down, let's hold it. Good, just opening the arms out. I want you to turn your thumbs up, get a little external rotation through your shoulders. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. Your eyes are just gazing down at the floor here. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. Four more, three, two. Now bring your elbows in. Just give me a little hinge lunge here. So small range of motion, pressing down through that front heel. We keep that hip hinge, extend your arms back and in. Squeezing through those triceps. Four more like that. It's four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it up and just switch it out to the other side. Give your back a little break. Check in with that posture. Hands at the hips. Again, split stance, hip hinge, and up. So abs are bracing in just to really support our spine here. Keep that nice neutral alignment through your back. So back has continues to keep that nice little lower lumbar curve. We naturally have pelvis and shoulders moving together as that one solid unit. Take this one down and hold, turning those thumbs up. Little squeeze between the shoulder blades, tapping into that shoulder blade retraction. This is where our rows are gonna come from. Strengthening in between the shoulders. Get those posture muscles warmed up and ready to go. Good. Elbows stay in. Take that little hinge lunge, small range of motion. Press down through that front heel. Extend it back and in. Press, good. So little to no weight on that back foot. Really concentrate on that front leg. 
you got it. Now let's work on our squat form. So we're gonna take our feet a comfortable distance apart for your squat. You might feel better with your feet wider, more narrow, toes in or out. Just see what really works best for your body. Everybody's built differently, so we wanna adjust this to meet your needs. Sit back into your hips. And again, think about that hip hinge, but chest is gonna stay lifted. So imagine you got a chair behind you. If you have a chair close by, you might wanna even just sit back into it to really give you that full range of motion. If you're able to go more deep with this, go for it. But again, you're working with your body. So let's play with our tempo here. We're gonna sit back, two, three, four, come up nice and slow and controlled. Again, super slow, sit back, two, three, four, come up strong. Hips are just gonna return underneath the shoulders at the top, squeezing those glutes. Take it down for two and up for two. Down for two, up for two, you got it. Sit back. We're gonna take this one down to the bottom of your squat, wherever that is. Come halfway up for eight, seven, six, lift your chest. Five, push down through all of your feet here, all your toes, right and left side even. Come up slow. All right, are we ready to go? Let's open up those shoulders. Good. A Little bit more for the upper body and then we'll get started. So we're gonna rotate down and up. Just a little hamstring curl, dynamic stretch for the front of those thighs turning the palms down, externally rotate up. Good, and you can give me a little chest lift at the top, just really opening up into that external rotation. Beautiful. Hold it here, side to side, toe tap, stretch. Nice, how do you feel? You feel warmed up and ready to go? Last little thing here, let's circle out through our wrists. Reverse direction. Flex the hands, push it out, work those extensors, point it down again, flex. And down one more time, up, really nicely done. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with one of my heavier dumbbells. You do what works best for you. Be careful when you're picking up your weights, even if they're light, use your legs, please, at all times. So we're gonna go back to that squat. So we can hold the dumbbell here, we can hold it like a goblet, we can hold it down, whatever feels best for you. We're gonna sit back, down, two, three, just get there on four, slowly return the hips underneath the shoulders. So we started that slow tempo, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, give me that two, two count. So it's down, two, up, two, you got it, down, up, down, up, one more on that two, two. Let's go back to that slower tempo, down slow. Four, three, two, just get there on. One, up, two, just return the hips underneath you, squeeze your glutes, it's down. Sit back, back, back. Use that chair if you need it, or a bench underneath the hips, whatever feels good to you. Two more, slow. Up, one more, nice and slow and controlled. Back in those hips. Stand strong, two down, two up, down and up, down, up. We got two more like that. It's down, up, one more time. Now sit back at the bottom, hold it, coming halfway up for eight, seven, six, relax your neck, five, four, three, two, come all the way up nice and slow. Woo, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna take single leg deadlift or just a split stance deadlift. So we're gonna face this leg, put the weight in your opposite hand. Back foot can absolutely stay on the floor the whole time. We're gonna come down, reach to the front foot, come up, down for two, up for two. So if my back foot's floating, I'm just gonna keep it close to the floor in case I need it. Keep that spine nice and neutral. So I'm actually gonna keep my toe on the floor 
all the way today because that just feels better to me. So I can really concentrate on that front leg, hip hinging, feeling the hamstring. So we started on the 2-2. Two -two. Give me one more 2-2, two, two. two down, two up. Slowing it down, four, three, two, one. Come up, two, three, one, and down. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, really focus on that hip hinge. Send your tailbone back and lift. One more slow tempo. Good. Two, two, down for two, up for two, down for two, up for two. Two more like that. One more. Nice, holding it here, hinge. I'm gonna position my weight more on top of my thigh now and take that hinge lunge, little pulses. Seven, drive through your front heel. Six, so most of my weight is in that front foot. Four, three, two. Now listen, we're gonna come up nice and slow. Up, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Up, drive through that front heel. Slow on the way up. Down, up, two, three. Keep that hip hinge, don't round your shoulders forward. Two more. Now let's just finish it. We're doing one set on each side, so let's do those eight pulses to finish it, to bookend it. Six, five, feel that front glute. Four, three, two, oh my goodness. One, come all the way up. Hello, shake it out. Let's go to the other side. So we're gonna start with that split stance deadlift. Two, two count. Set it up strong. Back foot down or slightly lift. Here we go. Down, up. Hip hinge. Nice neutral spine. So I'm reaching down to the inside edge of my foot with that dumbbell. Send that tailbone back. One more like this. Slow it down, four down. Four, three, two, one. Come up slow and control. Check in with your alignment and form here. Now that it's super slow, hard to talk super slow. Two more, send the tailbone back. Focus on the back of that thigh. Hamstring strong. Two, two, let's go. Down, up. You find your range of motion, however far forward you can hinge without rounding that back. Great job, let's hold that hinged position. Just adjust your weight if you'd like. Taking it down for eight, seven, six. Keep that hip hinge. Drive through that front heel. Two more. Down for one, up for three. Down, up. So I'm still staying in that hinge. Down, slow. Drive through that front heel strong. You got this. Four more like that. Three, two more. One more time like that, you got this, come on. Take it down, eight, seven, just halfway up. Six, five, four, three. We got two more, two more. Come on up, shake it out. Amazing, guys. We're almost there. We're gonna do one more set of the squats. 
And then we're gonna pick up that second dumbbell for one more set of deadlifts on both legs. So take a breather, check in, see if you need to adjust your weight, see if you need to adjust your grip. Sit back, your squat position, down, up. Down for two, up for two. Keep that chest lifted, nice even weight between the right and left foot, toes and heels. Spread your toes out wide in your shoes. Give yourself a solid foundation. Make sure you're not rolling inward with your knees. That starts at your feet. So get grounded into the feet. Let those knees just track right out over your toes. One more. Take it down, halfway up. Eight, seven, six, five four three we're not done yet two i know set the weight down if you need to super slow to finish four down two three four keep your chest lifted oh my goodness we can do this let that hip hinge lead the way slow squeeze the glutes on the way up stopping the pelvis right underneath your shoulders One more, just finish your squats. Down. Nice, take a moment to carefully pick up that second dumbbell. If you need to trade out lighter, go for it. Deadlifts again with both feet this time. Check in with your alignment, send that, the hips back. Hip hinge. So you could stay with the knees soft and just work your hip hinge here. If you wanted to get a little deeper into it, you could bend the knees and let them extend a little on the way up. Just kind of see what's letting you tap mostly into your hamstrings here. And you get some glutes on the way up too. Down for two, up for two. Watch that the weights aren't rolling out to your knuckles. Hold them in their palms. Don't stretch your forearms. Slow it down for me, please. Four. Three, two, one, and up nice and slow. Keep that nice neutral spine alignment. Pay attention to your low back. If it's starting to bother you, take a breather. The more you can think about sticking your booty back and out, the more you can maintain that nice neutral spine and that lower back. Anytime we round it, we tend to stress it more, especially when we're hinged forward. Nice work. All right, before we get rid of those heavy weights, let's check in with posture. Let's get some upper body work done. So we're gonna alternate, just bringing the weights outside your shoulders, overhead press, but kind of taking it out to half a letter Y. See what feels good to your shoulder. You might need to do a front raise or a side raise instead. Now we're gonna take it up, slow to lower. Take it up, down, two, three. Up, down, two, three. Again, strong abs, don't lean back. Two more. Last time here. Nice work, let's take it down. So we're gonna step back with one leg into a rear lunge position. We're gonna come down a little deeper and our opposite arm is going to curl up. So opposite to the front leg, down, up and curl. Bicep curl on one side, abs are tight. Try not to lean. Shoulders over those hips, just going straight down and up. If this bothers your knees, feel free to just hold a static lunge and don't come up and down right here. We've got four more. Lift. Three, watch that front knee is not rolling in or out. Two. Biceps should be working here at that heavier weight with that curl. Hold. Step up. Switch legs. Ready. Up and down. So you're just moving up and down here if you're going for the lunge or you're just holding it. Static contraction. Palm rotates up, palm rotates in. Up, 
two, down, two. You got it. Nice. Two more, nice and strong, wherever you're at. Oh yeah. Nicely done, let's come back to those shoulders. Standing tall. You find the press, alternate to start. Whatever range of motion is working for you. Front or side raise with lighter weights. Elbows diagonal, straight front, straight side. Pay attention to your shoulders needs. Both arms up on one, take it down nice and slow. Work that eccentric lowering. Up, down, two, three. If you need to alternate on this one too, go for it. Don't let your hips jump forward. Abs in tight, brace your glutes. Pelvis stays under our shoulders. Trying for two more if we can. Last one. Nicely done, coming back. Rear lunge, opposite arm to that front leg. We're gonna switch it up. We're gonna come up, slow, down to lower. Two, slow to lower. So we're lowering into that lunge, lowering out of that curl at the same time. Whew. Eccentric phase. Up, slow. Two more here. Now hold it halfway down, up halfway down. Three, four, five, halfway, six, seven, eight. Take it down, switch, up on one, down on three, up. Down, two, three, up. Slow and controlled on the way down. Let that palm rotate with it. Shoulders back and open. One more, then we're gonna hold it down. Ready, take it up halfway. Halfway, curl, drive to that front heel. You can static hold that lunge too if you need it. One more, slowly, ah, take a minute to trade out your weights carefully. I'm gonna wipe my sweat here. It is hot in the Florida sun. All right, let's go lighter weights. Again, carefully picking up with our legs. Whew. All right, you feeling good? Okay, so let's keep working it. Total body, we're gonna keep going with the legs. Back to that hinge lunge position, but very subtle this time. So stepping it forward, hinge it. We're gonna take a lateral raise from that hinge position. Elbows stay soft, so you're gonna open palms up and down. Palms up and down. So staying out of the rear delts. This is still the top of the shoulders, not the back, but a little hinge. So it might feel a little better on your shoulders than being straight up. Keep that slight hip hinge forward, not too much from the legs. It's really more about our stance here. Up, two, down, two. Relax your neck. Thumbs are up. If you need to modify, elbows can be more bent. Might need to alternate your arms. Take it up on one, down on three. Up, slow. Up, slow. Relax your neck. Four more. Again, do what you need to do. Alternate your arms, bend your elbows more. Two more. Great job. All right, let's bring our feet together. Elbows in. 
Little narrow squat position. Again, you could just hold it here or sit back, two, three, come up. Squeeze the inner thighs together. If narrow squats don't work for you, step your feet apart. And I want you to focus on that extension on the way back and think about bringing your pinky up a little closer towards the ceiling on that full extension. It can help make your elbow feel a little more comfortable. Now, if you are coming in and out of that squat, just hold it back for me. Let's bend and extend for eight, seven. Again, you can stay static with the squat or take it back and up. Last four, three, two, one. You got it, come on up. Give your neck and shoulders a breather. Just shake them out. Take a second. So we're gonna flip to the other leg, but this time we are gonna focus on the back of the shoulder. So we're gonna go from the top to the back into the rear delts. Just change out your leg. Hip hinge, palms are up, elbows a little more soft. Think about pulling now your shoulder blades back and together like we did in the warm up. I have more of a bend in my elbows. Your elbows can go a little more bent or a little more extended depending on what's feeling good to you. Focus on that upper back, focus on that shoulder blade retraction first to raise those arms out to the side. Nice hip hinge, nice neutral spine. One more like this. Up for one, down on three if you can. It's up, slow, all the way down. Take your time, focus on the shoulder blades, starting the movement, pulling back and together towards your spine. Resist gravity coming down, don't let it go in your neck. Two more. One more time. Nice, bring it up, shake it out. Again, narrow squat position if that works for you. Elbows in, going back to our triceps. Feet together or apart. Static squat or sitting back. Slow, sit back, relax your chin to your chest. Down, two, three, standing up. Same thing here, we wanna make sure the pelvis goes right underneath the shoulders, but not jutting past them. Don't wanna put any stress in that low back. Squeeze your glutes on the way up. One more full. Taking it back, halfway up, down and in. Pinkies towards the sky. Sit back and extend. Two more. Nice work, all right, okay. Shake it out again, you're doing great. Stay with me if you can. So we already did work for the biceps. We're gonna do a little bit more for the calves and the outside of the hips before we hit the floor. So just finding your balance on one leg, we're gonna push to the outside of the hips and the glutes. We lift and lower, squeeze. So finding your balance, if you need to hold onto something with this hand, that's fine. Now slow to come up, up, two, three, and down, it's harder than it looks. Up, two, three, don't let that leg knock you over. Stand tall and strong. Good, squeeze. Four more. One more time. Palms in, little calf raise. Press over the big toes, second toes, stand up tall, abs in tight. More core challenge, you can bring those weights to your shoulders. Stand it strong. You got it. Don't roll your ankles. Hang tight. Two more. Shake it out, move it around to the other side. Change legs. Weights out. 
All right, tap that toe. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Even tempo to start. Check your alignment. Find yourself a focal point for your eyes. That helps with our balance. Nice and slow. Up, two, three, and down, two. Really push out into that weight. You got it. Up, two, three, and down. Squeeze, try not to lean. Two more if you can. Last one. Yes, stand it tall. Calf raises, again, weights down by your sides or at the shoulders, shoulders over your hips, stand it tall. Find your balance, abs in tight. This is a great ab exercise too, even though it doesn't look like one. Brace it in, posture tall. Don't roll those ankles. Two, amazing. Let's carefully make our way down to our mat. Whew, this is why I don't do my strength training outside. I'm melting, but I love you guys. I know you want some sun and pool, so I'm here for you. All right, excuse my extra sparkle. We're gonna grab the heavy weights. We're gonna carefully put them in to the body. Keep them in front of your chest, roll back, abs in tight, protect your spine. Opening the elbows out slightly underneath shoulder heights. So we never want to be right at 90 degrees for our push-ups or our chest presses. We're going to press the weights up over the chest. Let them come down just a little bit with the elbows. So it's a little bit of a forward motion on the way up, a little bit of a backward motion on your way down. This is your push-up track as well. That forward and back slight. It's very subtle with the push up and down. Elbows are about 30 degrees, maybe a little more below your shoulders. Just play with what feels best for you. So you know your body best, you know your shoulders best. So I want you to always pay attention to how things are feeling for you. Adjust as needed. Let's slow it down. We're gonna come up slow for four, three, two, one. Down, two, three, four. Squeeze and push, two, three, four, and down. So we're super setting this one. Take it up. One, two, down, two. Again, push and down. Squeeze through that chest. Two more. Last one. Yes, go ahead and set one weight down. We're gonna put the heavy weight over the pelvis or you can do this without weight. Before we start, I want you to tilt your tailbone up, squeeze your glutes, press your low back into your mat, brace your abs. Take up the bridge, not too high, but squeezing the glutes, that's where we're focused. We're gonna come halfway down and squeeze. Focus on that pelvic tilt. So it's all glutes, not so much lower back. Squeeze. Adjust your foot position if you need to bring your feet closer, further out. Focus on tilting that tailbone up to the ceiling. Squeeze through your glutes. Right and left foot are evenly pressed into the mat. Abs are braced and tight. Tuck that tailbone, point it up to the sky. Fire up those glutes. Hold it at the top, a little pulse for three. Up, two, three, halfway down. Up, two, very small and subtle. Lift higher, 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 halfway down. Squeeze, two, three, halfway. Watch your knees, don't let them open out too far. To the sides, lift, two, focus on those boots. Three, two, one, we got two more like that. Up, two, three, and down. Last time. You got it. Let's set that weight to the side. 
So while we're here on the back, we're gonna go ahead and hit the abdominals. Hands behind the head, legs are lifted about 90 degrees above your hips. We're gonna curl up over the top of the rib cage. Crunch, give me a bicycle. One knee comes in, opposite shoulder across. Switch, come back to the center. Shoulders are lifted, come up an inch higher, and then lower down. That's your movement pattern. We're gonna switch the leg that leads each time. So we come up, curl up, bicycle back leg, front leg, Come back to the center, a little higher curl, slowly down. Switch the leg that starts you off again on that bicycle. Up, cross, cross, center curling a little higher, release it back. Again, switch the leg up, other side, lead with your shoulder, cross crunch, center, a little higher, and down, do it again, curl it up, cross, Cross, center a little higher. Down one more time like this. Cross, cross, center a little higher. Now just come up holding for the bicycle. We're gonna pulse it in for eight. Switch, seven, six. Go as far into it as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, holding it center, come up a little higher, pulse it in for eight, seven, six, five, tuck that tailbone, press your lower back into the floor for a little bit more, three, two, hold, release it down. Carefully and quickly, let's turn over, facing the mat on all fours, grabbing one of those heavy dumbbells that should still be by your side, focusing on a row. So a nice neutral spine, abs are in tight. You're a little more supported with your back here. We're gonna pull up, two, down, two. Think about that shoulder blade pulling back and in towards the spine to start that row. Up, two, down. I'm not gonna release my weight to the floor. So I'm not getting a full extension of my arm here. Pull back, squeeze up. One more, then we slow it down, changing up that tempo again. Ready, nice and slow for four, three, two, one. Slow to lower, resist all the way down. Do it again, pull back, two, three. Squeeze through your back and release. Don't use your biceps, your biceps are already tired. Focus on the back, two, three. Just get there on four and down. One more time, nice and slow and controlled. Pull, two, three, just get there and release, two, three, four, you got it, other side, I'm just flipping around so you can see it, and we start on that two, two count, neutral spine, abs braced in, don't sink into your bottom hand, let's go up, two, down, two, pull that shoulder blade, back and in, focus on the back work here, up, down, and pull, Deep breaths. Uh huh. Good. And slowing it down for four, three, two, one. Resist. Two, three, four. Again, up two, three. Just get there and resist. Down. Yep. Again, pull it back and up. And down. Nice job. Let's just finish with our last exercise. We're gonna lie face down on the mat, finishing with some extension movement for the back of the body, working that posterior chain. So we're gonna start with the palms facing down, just kind of open into a low V on the floor. Pull your shoulder blades back and together, lifting the legs if that feels comfortable, squeezing the glutes, turn your thumbs up, pull your shoulder blades back and together, hold it, slow to come down. Let's take it up for one, two, and down, two, and up, two, and down, two, and lift, two, and down, and squeeze, and down. Wow. 
One more time, just holding it at the top, squeezing the shoulder blades back and together. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze that low back. Hold it for eight, seven, six. Turn your thumbs up, five, four, three, two, release. <sighs> we made it, guys. Let's take a second just to stretch for a moment. So tucking the toes, sitting the hips back towards the heels if that feels okay. If you're able to, lunging one foot forward, you could put your hand here, put something under your back knee, lunge your hips forward. Again, you could be up here or here, depending on where you are. Seeing if we can open up that back arm, turning, allow that knee to extend past your toes. Come back to the center, switch sides here. Get off that back knee, hold on to something if you need to, or skip this opening rotation. Breathe, feeling good about all the hard work we just did. Switch, bring it in. Just bring your foot in a little closer so that you can carefully come up, hands on the thighs, round your spine, chin to chest. Arch and release, round chin to chest. Arch and release, slowly coming up through that spine, opening up across your chest, reach your arms back behind you. Deep breaths, rounding forward. Arms up, open up through those shoulders, just circling back. And stretching those forearms. Take a moment to breathe. Great job, thank you so much for all of your hard work and attention on this one. I know I threw some different tempos at you today. Hopefully you feel strong, worked, but still energized so you can take on whatever is left of your day today. Thanks so much for sparkling with me. I can't wait to get training with you again soon. Take care, everybody.